Hi, hello, hi. So this may not be the most exciting video I've ever filmed, but uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, life, particularly my own life. So let's just, let's jump, let's jump right into it. So I'm not the best with change, as some of you may know. I'm, I'm really, I'm not great with change. Uh, it's the reason why my transition took me so long and why every step of my transition was pretty difficult for me. It took me a long time to make decisions, stuff like that, which is fine. Everyone moves at their own pace, but it's just, it's just a thing. It's a thing I deal with. I'm not good with big changes and big decisions and they take me a long time and oftentimes I will only make a decision even if I know that it's the better decision for my life I will only make that decision after I have repeatedly been burned by not making that decision over and over again until I'm like mm -hmm, yeah no uh, the uh, the findings are conclusive uh, we should absolutely not be in this situation we should definitely do something about this. So now, once again, I find myself in a situation where I need to make a big change and I am big scared of the big change. So what is that change you see? Well, so I'm moving out of this apartment. I know a lot of you are probably hearing that and you're like, oh, uh, you're making a regular adult decision, part of every healthy adult's life, and uh, you know, that that's, you're moving out. Oh, wow, you're the only person who's ever moved out, Aaron. But no, look, wait, listen, here's the thing. I've lived in this apartment since I was 19. I'm 25 now, so that's, that's, six, that's six years. I've been living in this apartment since I even started my transition, since I even knew that I would start to transition. But it's weird because it's, it's not like this apartment is great or good in any way, to be completely honest. It's actually quite terrible. It's, it, it's awful. Then why are you so nervous about moving? Well, well, here's the thing about that. Um, when making a big change, for me personally at least, even if the current situation is absolutely awful, it's the devil I know. It's familiar. There are little to no surprises with the ways in which I will be disappointed by the current scenario that I'm in. I know what to expect. But in the new apartment, even if it's a potentially better apartment, I don't know what that horrible is yet. I don't know what new and exciting horrors could potentially await me when making a change. I don't know the ways in which I could be disappointed by the impending future scenario. Everything when we get there will be a surprise. And fun fact about me, I really don't like surprises. Even even the exciting kinds, even like surprise parties, which, which like if we could just like stop and take a minute to, to like think about that, like people come into your house without you knowing, squat in the dark and then jump out at you and yell when you walk into your house. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with surprise parties. I'm just saying they're scary, okay? All right, they're just, they're not for everyone. I am not a surprise kind of guy. So much like surprise parties, which I'm really fun to have, you invite me to your parties, it'll be great. I'm just this new apartment as exciting and, and fun as it's going to be and as much as I know that's going to be healthy for me, um, it's scary. So the move is scary, but there really is every reason to move out. Um, firstly, uh, my landlord likes to look into our windows and knock on them instead of using a telephone or doorbell. Also, we like never have enough hot water, the toilet barely flushes, and uh, we found black mold in one of the walls in the room where we sleep. Yeah, no, you heard that correctly. Remember how I've been having chronic respiratory infections every six weeks for the past like four to six years? Sinus infections, pneumonia, all that good stuff. I'm almost always on antibiotics. They're becoming less effective, all that, that, that. Yeah, no, it turns out it's because of the mold I've been breathing every day so yeah no there's really like we are not at a loss for reasons why we should move out of our place so the question isn't really like why am i moving uh the question is kind of why did it take me so long to get to this point and i've sat with that and i've reflected and it is something that i now fondly refer to as growing pains i stop myself from making changes that i know could potentially make me much happier in my life because of growing pains. It's not just fear of the unknown, it's the pain that comes with separating yourself from something that is so familiar, something that you've just kind of grown with, something that is a part of your life, you know? I just, I have a lot of trouble separating from that, including like just, I only got my name legally changed a year ago after living as Aaron for like five years now, four years now? It, it took me all that time just to do my legal name change because even though I don't use my birth name, there's literally no reason why I would want to keep my birth name. It's just changing it is new and different and and I'm not sure what obstacles I'll face if I do that. So it took me a long time to get to the point where I was ready to make that change. Again, I don't entirely know why, but it's just sometimes it's kind of painful for me to part with what I'm familiar with, even if the thing I'm familiar with is absolutely causing me pain and 
is not something I enjoy whatsoever. So I've realized that growing pains apply to more than just like, you know, my transition or leaving this apartment. It's something that applies to relationships or jobs. Ending a relationship, for example. Had I never ended my last relationship, I never would have met my current girlfriend because I wouldn't have been looking for a different partner. I would have continued dating that person that I was in a relationship with and it wasn't great. Ending any relationship that's unhealthy is scary, even if it's super unhealthy because it's just, there's history there. There's there's a lot, you know, and that's, that's how I feel about this apartment. There's history here. I'm attached to it. I'm not exactly comfortable, but again, I'm familiar with it and it's scary to, you know, I can't ever get a new place or a better apartment than this if I never leave this one. So I have to go through the process of leaving this one. But that process is difficult and hurts. But I've learned that at least for myself personally, that pain is normal and it's a part of my growing process. Hence why I fondly refer to it as growing pains because without that pain, I don't grow because I don't change anything and the change hurts. You, get, you see, do you see, see what I'm saying here? So anyway, that's it. I was just, I was here to talk to you about that, about the things going on in my life, the changes I'm making, the latest growing pain, and, you know, kind of walk you through my personal process when it comes to making these big changes and parting with something that I know and moving into something new and unknown. I hope that maybe this might help you if you are facing a big change that's scary. Uh, again, I went through a lot of this when I was transitioning. It took me a long time to make the decision to take hormones. Um, again, my name change took me a very long time. It's just making big changes is scary for some folk. So yeah, if you're someone like me who isn't super great with change, I just want you to know you're not alone. And uh, I hope this helps a little bit. And if not, I hope at least I kept you company for the time, the duration of this video. So yeah. On an unrelated note, kind of, I just wanted to announce to you all that uh, Ty Turner and I have started a new podcast. Uh, it's called My Favorite Podcast, and we certainly hope it'll become one of your favorite podcasts. We release episodes every Saturday slash Sunday. We talk about trans things, but also non-trans things. It's 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 a it's a good it's a fun time. You should definitely check it out. I'll like leave some links in the description. But yeah, I just wanted to let you all know there's a new podcast in town, and it's really fun and it's really nice. So that actually kind of ended up being related to this video, but I mean, happy accidents, I guess. Uh, anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day and a great week, and I hope you take care of yourselves. All right, thanks. Bye.